welcome back guys uh, in this uh, video tutorial we'll be starting to talk about uh, the problems regarding uh, volume and area uh, which are related to geometrical problems so and these are the type of problems that you're going to witness more in the competitive exams uh, so majorly in this video we'll be talking about the formulas and tips that we require to solve those kind of problems uh, because these are geometric uh, geometry and we need to look for formulas right so let's let's look for formulas formulas to solve those problems now uh, there are different geometrical shapes and different formulas are there for different shapes so let's begin with uh, those different formulas now let's first begin with uh, cuboidal so cuboidal cuboidal shape now we need to draw those shape first for getting the understanding now if I draw the cuboidal shape how it will look like it will look something like this so here we go it will just look like this and another will look like this and it will be joined together to get this this is a cuboid so this is a cuboidal shape and let's now look for formulas for the cuboidal shape the so formula for volume so let me write the formulas here formulas for volume formulas for volume in this case simply is so so for for knowing volume surface area so let me first write surface area is a and we will look at looking at the diagonals diagonals we require all of them so we'll be looking for the formulas here now here what we can see in this kind of problems that that the length the length here this is the length and this is l small l and if we look at this this is this is height so it is i and this small length is b this is b and the height is that distance this is going to be the height and this distance is going to be b so we get three of the important terms l b sorry l b and sorry this is with h height or h so you get three important variables here in this case three parameters so the volume in this case obviously is simply length multiplied by this small b multiplied by the height which is length breadth into height we get the volume and volume obviously is in cubic cubic units so unit to the power cube okay whatever unit is a centimeter so centimeter power cube and whatever now surface area for this and to calculate surface area we have you know surface area means we have two one side here another side there this two sides this two sides so two sides each two side for uh, this 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 two side for this and that two side for this and this and for so on right so look for the sides we just take two multiplied by l into b multiplied by b into h multiplied by l into h and this will be in the square unit so unit to the power square will be the unit in this case okay now look for diagonals and what are the diagonals you all know diagonals means one starting from here ending up there starting from there ending up here so these are the diagonals so diagonal here will be something different formula like l square plus b square plus h square and whole square root of this l square plus b square plus h square and this will be in simple unit terms right so this is uh, for the cuboidal type of uh, shape now if we look at the shape of cube we look for shape of cube how it will look like it will look something like this so now let's draw cube cube will be just like this it's a perfect square remind you then the rest of the part will just look like the previous cuboidal like so this will look something like that I have some mistakes of drawing there so this is uh, how a cube look like and the formulas for cube are much more simpler because all of this length this L this B this H everything is same in this cube so if we imagine this as a cuboidal you simply get L equals to B equals to H so everything is same and we just keep it as a we just take uh, uh, example of all these things as a so what will be the formula here so the formula remember for volume formula for volume equals to here it will be uh, all the sides right so a 
into a into a or simply I can write a q and unit will be unit q let me take it yeah so a cube is going to be the formula now if we take if you take uh, the formula for surface area and the formula for surface area in this case will be will be again six surfaces are there and the surface area for each surface will be a square so into six surfaces so six a square is going to be the surface area and this will be unit square and the third thing is the diagonal diagonal value and diagonal will be in this case root 3 into a root 3 into a is going to be the diagonal so this is the formulas for q now let's scroll it down and now let's talk about let's talk about cylinder cylinder for cylinder how cylinder is looking like cylinder will look like something like this sorry it's, it's obviously a hollow cylinder so let's draw the pipeline first then so it's a hollow it's a hollow cylinder like that so if this is the cylinder this is the cylinder it will look like and in this case we know from the center there is a surface spherical surface in both there's a circle in both the ends and then a, a straight line so the straight line here is termed as h this total length termed that as h and this this distance is termed as r from the center so if you know this thing rest of the uh, things are easy so the volume in this case volume for the cylinder equals to the formula so let's write the formula formula for volume is simply pi r square is the volume uh, is the surface area for for the circle into h which is the length so the volume is 5 i pi r square h now if we look at the surface area the curved surface area and the total surface area if we look at the surface area curved this curved surface area we get the value of let's put the value of 2 pi r h this is the square units uh, so unit square and if you look at the surface area total because that is required most of the time total surface area it will be 2 pi r h plus r again unit square right so this is the total surface area how this formulas actually came you need to look for more uh, mathematical backgrounds I don't encourage you to do that just memorize this formulas because it will required it will be required for your future studies okay now if we talk about cones cones so how a cone is looking like cone will look something like this right like a cornetto much like so it's a center and uh, if I draw a line from center like this and this distance is simply termed as R remember and this whole distance is l looking as H this complete distance is H okay so this is this is H and this is R so again what what are the different uh, formulas for cone so let's put the formulas here let's put it now let's say let's take this one let's say uh, so if we look at uh, the volume the volume for a cone will be one third pi r square h this is the volume and unit q will be the unit for that okay and the surface area again two types of surface area it is one for carved and surface area one for total so surface area for carved here will be pi r l and surface area total will be pi r l plus pi r square both of them will be unit square right and if we if we want to know the slant height this complete height or l the slant height will be h square plus r square 
has root over of h square plus r square. So this is going to give us the slant height. Or slant height means this. This is the height, and it is remember mind to require. This is called L or slant height, and it is required in many mathematical problems. So you need to remember how to get this slant height. So let me write it here. This is this term is slant height. Okay, that's it. So it's it's about cone now. Okay. So once you understand this four and and what we remi remained in in the last part is sphere and hemisphere. So don't need to talk about hemisphere much, but sphere we need to talk about. So let's talk about sphere. Let's talk about sphere here. So for sphere, uh, normal uh, this process is very very much simple because for sphere is nothing but a simple surface like this. It's not actually sphere. So let's draw, try to draw a circle here. Yeah, it's kind of so it's kind of circle like that. And in this case, uh, for for this case, if it's a volume, it's not two dimensional. Remind you, this is a three D structure. So volume for that is is simply two by three pi r cube. And unit cube. This is the volume for a sphere, and surface area for curved line it will be two pi r pi square r, and for surface area total it it will be three pi square r. Okay. This is the different. These are the different things. And one thing you should know about all of these spheres and calculations, and that calculation is one. Thousand cubic centimeter equals to one liter, and that is required for most of your problems that are we are going to solve. One thousand cubic centimeter equals to one liter, and that's for sure. Okay, so that's the thing. That's the thing. And in this case, this r means this distance from any any place. This is the r. Okay, and this complete distance is obviously two r that we all know, right? So these are the different formulas that we need to learn for cuboid, cube, cylinder, cones, and sphere. Once you know these formulas, it will be easy for you to solve the question that we are going to solve now. Okay, so that's it, guys, and I hope that's helpful. Thank you.